Hello and welcome back to Musical Intelligence. This video has been a long time coming. I'm finally getting around to it. I've been busy with work. I do have a, a full-time job apart from this. And this will be about the 1980s uh, Rivera era at Fender. It'll be about the Super Champ, which is probably one of the greatest amps that Fender has ever made and that is still kind of affordable to these days. I say kind of because they more than doubled in values in the last 18 months. And the one we'll be listening to and I'll be talking about, I acquired over a year ago. I sold it the day I made those tone tests, so I had to rush to make those tone tests before it walked out the door. So this video will be mostly about comparing the speaker options you had that were available to you when you acquired this uh, combo. It's an all tube amp, power section, preamp section with a little, a little tube that could be quite costly to replace. Um, there's a lot of information about that you can easily dig. I'm not going to talk about tube replacement on the sample. I'll be mostly concentrating on the speaker comparisons between the original speaker found in this combo and the option you had for the other speaker. There'll be in a few parts. So this part is me talking, showing you a few pictures of what was available and what we're going to listen to in the way I decided to implement this comparison. So I do apologize if I look from time to time north, but I have a second screen. I have to get my pictures so I can show you, show them to you. So it's super champ you see in the picture right now. All right, so let's go get the comparison pictures. So the original speaker is this. Fender branded special design made by Eminence. So at the time Eminence was an OEM, an original equipment manufacturer. So if you order the Super Champ from Fender, that was the base speaker that was coming into it. Now, the option was for, let me find one that was for sale. The option was for this, an Electro Voice 10 inch. So, wondering, Electro Voice makes good speakers, great speakers, Eminence too. So what, why would I need to upgrade that speaker? Well, first of all, the Electro Voice is a lot more powerful, can handle, can handle more power, more wattage than the Eminence does. I think the Eminence was rated for 25 to 30 watts, so just enough to cover the Super Champ. The EV could handle 100. No kidding. So I've, I've tested it. I had that speaker and the EV was a lot more powerful and will, will quite well discern, discern, sorry, again, my English is my second language, the differences in tones between the EV and the Eminence, Fender branded Eminence. So, through a friend of mine who was a soundman, I acquired one of those EV speakers. And here's how it happened. Apogee, the sound equipment manufacturer for PA systems, line arrays, and stuff like that, had EV as an OEM, just like Fender had Eminence as an OEM. And EV was also an OEM for Mesa Boogies and a bunch of other companies. So my friend, the sound man, was gifted a pair of Apogee line array cabinets with the speakers on, with a horn and this 10 inch. So how do we know it's an EV? Because it's branded Apogee. EV's got a really peculiar way, which is really easy to tell, is the way they do the bracketing system for their speaker. So let me get the, the one that was for sale again back up. This one here. So <coughs> sorry about that. So if you see those brackets here, you look there. Let me put this side a little bit more. So the color is the same, 
No, the, sorry, the color is different. The heat radiator is different on the back because they got to brand it Apogee, just like Fender was branding eminent speakers. So they modified this part to have this over here. So, but it's the same thing. It's the same power handling. The ad says it's 150 watts. I can't comment on that. I didn't try it to 150. I know 100 it worked. I can tell you that. I've plugged it into a 100 watt capable tube amp and it was fine. It sounded great. So I got the speaker and had a custom built cab. I'm not completely sure if I have a picture of the cab. Well, I do in the video. You'll see the cab pretty well. I'll show it here. Da, 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 da. Well, you'll see it in the video. So I had a cow, cab, as you can see the back of it, built around it that would be a perfect fit for the champ, for the super champ. So the idea was that I would have a super champ sitting on top of its extension cabinet. Mm, I didn't think things through because when I built, had the, the cab built for the speaker, my idea was to have a mini stack, so the super champ to be able to deal with both speakers at the same time, and you just can't do that. And get the picture of the champ. All right, here, so here we go. Yeah, no, it's musical intelligence, but I didn't think this one through all the way through. So with, there's only one speaker out. It's this one here. And it's wired for 8 ohms. Now I could think, well, if you, if you could do two 8 ohms, yeah, but either, depending if you're doing it in parallel or series, you either end up with 4 ohms or 16 ohms. If you have a Marshall JCM 800, a Fender Twin, a high watt DR504, or a Mr. Boogie for that matter, yeah, 8 to 16, it's not a big deal. But it's a super champ. Now, it's not that powerful. It's a great sounding amp, but it's not it powerful enough to mismatch the power transformer, even by one size difference, either 8 to 16 or 8 to 4. And the other thing is, it's a vintage amp. It's now considered a vintage amp. So it's not worth it for me to risk it. So the only things I could do with it is either play it with its original speaker plugged in, the way you see it on the picture, or run a quarter inch jack, plug it to this, and listen to this one. Uh, the rest of this video, the other part of this video where you'll be able to listen, hear both speakers in these enclosures as you see them right now, well, they're one after the other. There is no way for me without modding the amp, which I was not going to do. There's no way for me to have both working together. Plus my friend, the soundman who uh, sold me the speaker, told me that since the electro voice is a lot more effective at handling, at transforming power current to sound, it's decibel rating is two to three decibels at least, more efficient than the eminence. He did tell me that he, even if I would have been able to plug both at the same time, the only one I would have heard would have been the EV, because at same volume it would have dwarfed the other one. So useless, not going to do it, didn't do it. And like I said, I sold this amp and the cab, the guy who came to try it, listened to the cab, to the EV, then listened to the amp and decided he had to get both of them. What he did with it afterwards is his own uh, business. So this is the end of this part. You got both speakers, one in a separate enclosure, the, aftermar the aftermarket purchased, but available as an option. I'll have the original cost, how much it was at the time to purchase the CD speaker and have it installed in a combo instead of the eminence. But we'll be able to determine at the end of this if it was a worthy enough upgrade that it was worth the effort and the cost, or if it was more like 
you know, a waste of time, a waste of money, and a waste of stuff that you could have spent on other stuff. not a scientific experiment. I'm using this to compare the Super Champ with the Electro Voice in its speaker in a separate cab that I had custom made for this and with its original speaker. So right now the setup is my Strat HSS Rode Neck needs to do normal tuning a lot of orange cable and the Super Champ, which you're going to see in the edit of this video. So right there, everything is at 5. So gain, master, all EQ is at 5, except for the reverb. Uh, I'm not, not going to turn the reverb on for this. So neck pickup. <laughs> Just see the differences at different settings between the two speakers. Switch channel yet, I'm not on the high gain. Next position. <laughs>
game. I was up to nine. I still can't even stand it. Still problem there. Alright, next position, volume. <coughs> I think you can hear it. <laughs> Again, first position. <laughs> Stop the video. The next video is going to be 
the um, speaker, the original speaker in FM was Professor Rivera, and not the uh, electro voice from Intel. All right, we've switched to the original. So everything aside, same channel. Again, I'm not gonna bother with the overdrive channel. Nobody buys the stuff with the overdrive. <laughs> faster on this one because well it's really 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 not good and my ears hurt sorry my pickup <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. 